originally called Torchlight Frontiers publisher Perfect World Entertainment has announced that it will now be released as Torchlight 3 this year. Torchlight Frontiers has now been rebranded as publisher Perfect World Entertainment have shared it will now launch as a premium title instead of a free to play. The title not only gets a new name but also has gone through a major overhaul as well as changes to where you can grab the title. A lot of these changes have been due to feedback received during alpha testing, the developer has explained. It is the spiritual successes of Torchlight and Torchlight 2. Other major changes include offering all content on day one and removing the in-game real money store. A new video has been released announcing further details. This includes sharing that the game, which was set to launch on the ARK store, is now going to be made available on Steam. Torchlight 3 will be releasing sometime this year on PC via Steam. Bandai Namco dropped their launch trailer for Code Vein's latest DLC, Hellfire Night, this week, which was a bit of a sneaky one. The first major DLC for Code Vein was released on January 28th, adding further content called Hellfire Night. It adds new foes to face, new weapons to source after, additional blood veils and blood codes. You can also adorn your partners with new alternate costumes, which can be found in the newly added areas located in the depths. The Hellfire Knight downloadable content is part of the Code Vein Deluxe Edition, which contains base game and season pass, allowing you to access the latest downloadable content. This is the first of the season pass, which contains three DLCs total, set to bring new story content, bosses, weapons, blood cones, and more. The DLC is also available separately, which you can pick up for $9.99. CD Projekt Red, the developers behind the upcoming sci-fi action RPG Cyberpunk 2077, has released a few details explaining further about the delayed release of the game. Originally set to release this April, Cyberpunk 2077 was delayed to later this year in September. However, to quell some rumours behind the delay, CD Projekt Red shared in their forums the reasons behind it, assuring fans. Rumours have been stirring, some saying that the reason behind the delay was that it didn't run smoothly on current generation of consoles. Corey Barlog, the creative director of SCI Santa Monica Studios, chimed in expressing that every game runs badly until you optimise for the hardware in the final push before gold. This was responded to by the developer themselves through the voice of senior quest designer at CD Projekt Red, Philip Weber who shared on the official forum who agreed wholeheartedly with Barlog. He explained that when it comes to the last stretch of development, lots of things are unoptimized because they're all in flux, changing and still not finished. Cyberpunk 2077 will release on PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on September 17th, 2020. Phoenix Labs, the developer behind the Monster Hunter online action RPG Dauntless, has been acquired by publisher Garena. The studio has now the support of Garena under the digital entertainment department based in Singapore. The acquisition has already been confirmed with Garena now owning 100% of the Dauntless developer. Through the transaction, 800 in-house developers will be added to the Garena team, and the developer will continue to support Dauntless. They also have plans to bring the game over to mobile, as well as increasing their presence in Asia and Latin America markets. Phoenix Labs co-founder Jesse Houston shared that the acquisition would ensure that we can provide the best possible experience for Dauntless players around the world. Hopefully this will result in an exciting new future for the crossplay Monster Hunter. Dauntless is now available on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch with plans for mobile in future. Pokemon Home is set to release in February and the recent official website has shared features, pricing and details of the premium plan. Pokemon Home was announced last year set to allow players to transfer the Pokemon from various games and the Pokemon Bank. On the official Pokemon Home website, they have now outlined how much the live service will set you back. Pricing is subscription based, meaning you either purchase a month at a time for $2.99 or three months at $4.99 or commit to a full year for $15.99. There are a lot of features available with the premium plan, and the main selling point being able to transfer up to 6,000 of your Pokemons between games. For those who have been long-term fans of the franchise, or players who are committed to catching them all, Pokemon Home will be pretty useful. However, the pricing is a little bit steeper than the previous Pokemon Bank, which was available for 3DS, which cost only $5 per year. Pokemon Home will be going live in February. No exact date has been announced as of yet. Developer Motion Twin has announced the action platform roguelike Dead Cells will be receiving its first paid DLC this February. 
Dead Cells will be gaining its first premium DLC this February 11th called The Bad Seed, which will be coming to PC, Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The DLC will be adding two new biomes, the rich vegetated area of Abortum and the wild overgrown location, The Swamp. There are plenty of new inhabitants to be aware of too, including a clan of mushrooms in Arabortum and mutant trees to blood-sucking fiends in the swamp. There is also a new boss to best called Mumatic, who can be found in the heart of the swamp who has previously been described as exceedingly creepy. Developer Motion Twin says the battle is just as challenging as the concierge, set to spice up your early game runs once you've played through the core game. But this isn't the only twist, as there is an unseen mechanic which sounds rather mysterious. The DLC also comes with new weapons and further enemies. Dead Cells The Bad Seed DLC will cost $4.99 and comes to the Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC on February 11th. The publisher Private Division have announced The Outer Worlds will be coming to Nintendo Switch on March 16th. The Outer Worlds was announced last summer that it would be launching on the Switch, but it would be coming after other platforms had launched. However, there will be no physical cartridges of the game for Switch players, but those who choose to buy a physical version will find only a download code in the box. This one is not to be missed out on, as The Outer Worlds recently just won the Best Game of the Year award at the New York Video Game Awards this January, and if you're wondering whether to pick up this quirky sci-fi title, you should check out our The Outer Worlds review, Immense Interstellar Fun. The Outer Worlds will be releasing on the Nintendo Switch on March 16th. The title is currently available to play on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. A new sci-fi RPG is being developed under Wizards of the Coast new studio, Archetype Entertainment. The publisher is behind the well-known Magic the Gathering franchise. The developer consists of ex-Bioware creative director and lead designer James Olin, who has had quite the arsenal of games under his belt, working on titles such as Baldur's Gate, Dragon Age Origins, Neverwinter Nights, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Dragon's Age Origins and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Archetype Entertainment is a full autonomous division based in Austin, Texas, and will also house another Bioware alumni, Chad Robinson, who has worked as head of live services on Anthem until his recent departure in November last year. The details so far are few for the upcoming project by Archetype, but the developer says it's creating a team to work on a multi platform role playing game set in a new science fiction universe. We're eager to find out more on what exactly Archetype has their hands on as the team speaks volumes with its combined experience. This is definitely an interesting start to the year. Hopefully more will be revealed as we get further into 2020. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids, and general wiki goodness.